in this video, I wanted to talk about the problem of trips tied in and how you can actually solve it in terms of using motion to mess with your opponent. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day to help um, you guys get better at the game and also to help myself get better at the game, just getting better by continuing to work, continuing to test things. And um, this is just some of the, the results of our testing. Now, uh, I do wanted to let you, I did wanna let you know that if you wanna get my full Trips Tied In ebook, um, you can get everything by joining my Patreon. The Patreon includes all of our guides. It includes all of our exclusive tips. We just released an incredible big nickel over G defense. We're actually working on a major project as well right now. Um, that's going to really set you guys up well for Madden 23. Uh, I firmly believe that the summer and the early spring or the late spring is the best time to improve in Madden. And I really have seen um, myself get a lot better in this time and a lot of the players uh, get better. So I think it's time to double down and really start testing things, tinkering with it to prepare for next year. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about in this video, like I said, is um, kind of the problem of trips tied in and how we can solve it. And the main problem of trips tied in is basically this. It is that this formation is really, 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 really good. Um, the problem can be if they do something like what I'm about to show you. So you see here that my zone drops are all on default, right? Now this is really, really important, okay? So their zone drops are all on default and I'm just gonna come out in the play PA counter go. One of the best plays over the course of the last three or four years from this formation. Now what I'm going to do is audible over to the Mike Blitz three out of the nickel three, three, five wide. Um, actually, I'm gonna audible out of the, to the Mike Blitz zero. And we're going to outside quarter the outside corner. We're gonna inside quarter the safety and then we can kind of do whatever we want with this guy okay so if we want to leave him in man coverage on the running back we certainly can um and then we can just basically blitz the living daylights out of you and i know that all i have to do is user over here on the right side and other than that it's pretty much taken away i'm going to use her the tight end route and i'm going to use her any kind of zig route to circle and what you're going to see happen here is one of the best route combinations in Madden 22 you're gonna see number one, a lot of times this pressure can come in uh, off of that side. And number two, another thing that you're gonna see with this is, especially if they're standing right here, of course, right? The other thing that you'll see, so the way that you pick up the pressure is by ID in this outside corner on the left side. So wherever the user's standing, if the user was standing on the other side, you would ID the other side. You'll see here, we should be able to pick up the pressure, but he gets a real good quick shed. The other thing that you're noticing is my crosser is completely bagged and the um, square player is uh, completely bagged, the outside receiver, okay? This is one of the biggest problems with this formation. So you might be asking, well, how can we solve it? Uh, I'm gonna give you two specific things, or I'm gonna give you another problem of the formation real quick, and then we're gonna talk about how to solve it. So a second problem is this, and that is that um, the bomb concept out of this, the, the everything nuke basically, can be bagged, if you will, by another setup that I'm gonna show you. So another popular thing that people like to do is if they wanna play zone drops, is they're gonna go to something like this. And basically what you'll see here is two big issues. So um, they're gonna be able to stop your crosser and then they're gonna inside quarter this guy right here. Now this inside quarter against trip side in is really, really, really good because there's nobody threatening the deep half. So a 30 yard cloud can be very effective for defending this. So what you'll see is if I go to this setup right here, which should bomb cover three, cover two, but when they put an inside quarter here, um, sometimes, not all the time, you see they were able to get over the top, but it's more of, um, and, 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 and that does have to do with the fact that the quarter is down a little bit. So you'll see right here, if I were to do this out of the three, three, five normal cover four, you see how this safety is backed off a little bit. That's gonna significantly help how they're gonna play this. And what you'll notice is if I try to throw this again, same exact round combination, same exact coverage, a lot of times he'll be able to recover back especially with everybody having you know 99 speed so those are the two big problems with trips tied in and then i think a, a very close third problem is the fact that if they know what they're doing out of these quarter zone adjustments and all this 
um, if they know what they're doing, they can actually defend like your deep corner to the left side. So, you know, even if you do some motion like this, if you will, this corner route, if they base a line, a lot of times this corner route can get bagged by a 30 yard cloud. You'll see here, um, you see it's kind of a tight throw, okay? So those are some of the major issues that you're gonna face in trips tight end is number one, man coverage is really good, especially at this point in the year. Number two, um, you're gonna see a lot of the that quarter or those zone drop adjustments. And then number three, some of the pass protection things that could be problematic from specifically 335 wide. I think 335 wide is really the only defense um, that can send a edge blitz like this and actually have it pretty consistent against trips tight end. So, how can we kind of fight back or how can we kind of help ourselves a little bit? Well, um, the first thing I want to deal with is zone drops and then we'll deal with the quarter. The same setup can deal with both of them. Um, but I want to first talk about zone drops because I think that that's the easiest work place to start. And the play we're going to use is verticals. So in order to pick up the pressure um, from 3 through 5 wide, the best tip that I can give you for picking up this pressure is to go ahead and block your tight end so we're just going to block our tight end and there's a hidden motion in trips tight end but we're actually going to motion triangle here and we're going to motion him all the way to the right side of the screen and we're going to put him on a fade now from here we can kind of do our basic concept so i can take my running back and put him on an in route and then i can put my outside receiver on that smart routed in and we basically have recreated essentially the same principle but what you'll notice is because of uh, remember how do they want to stop the bomb they want to put this guy right here in an inside quarter right well for this example we're going to just use a 30 yard cloud but what you'll see here is that this pressure is going to get picked up by this guy and now you're free to be able to attack them underneath with your running back um, and, and so you can see there the, the that the pressure is, is going to be picked up and you're going to be able to you know relatively quickly make a read now another thing that we're going to be able to do or another thing that we could do with this concept is high low so if we understand zone and we understand how they're going to blitz and how they're going to be able to how they're going to have to blitz and how their coverage is set up their formation is weighted and this is something that's really interesting about trips tied in that i think not very many people talk about so their formation is weighted so what i mean by that is the slot corners over here so over here you only have these three guys that they can possibly drop and then the user is al almost always going to be right here over here you can drop this guy you can drop you can drop four so you have four over three to the left what we're going to do is create essentially three on three by this motion so because of the motion you see that slot corner does not follow him across the formation so now we have an advantage primarily because of our running back so what we can do is we can send our running back to the flat just like this and now they we're gonna high low them on this side so you'll see right here there's no underneath zone that they can use to defend this do you see what I'm getting at here now even more importantly than that is so what they're gonna start to do when you start to do that they're going to start to drop their coverage now again I want to highlight typically speaking if they're going to send pressure over here or this is the best way to shoot the run this these two guys have to be blitzing so this guy is going to typically be in a zone of some sort if they're going to drop eight so the only yellow zone generally speaking is going to be this guy in a double maple setup and then they're going to have a quarter here and a in a um a cloud flat over here a 30 yard cloud now, if they're smart, what this what this play does is it puts them in a bad position. Um, just from a leverage perspective, they're completely out leveraged. And what you're going to notice here is that this inside quarter, if they leave him in an inside quarter, and we could do you know a variety of different things. But again, just to keep it simple, we're going to put the running back on out, and we're going to put Mike Evans on a drag or an in route. And what you're going to see here is if this guy's an inside quarter, you'll kind of be able to tell because he won't really bail to this guy. And you see that you can hit this over the top. So that's another way that we're going to funnel. We're going to funnel their adjustments. OK, really important word. We're going to funnel their adjustments into a specific type of adjustment that is going to be very problematic for them. So now what they're going to have to do to be able to stop that route combo is number one 
they're gonna have to have this guy in a deep path they're gonna have to have this guy in a perp and this is how they're gonna have to really best case scenario this is really the best defense that they could probably possibly have um, because they have to stand here for the run okay so now what they're gonna have to do is is they're gonna get high load over the middle so again we're going to run this guy across now the other thing that is really important to understand about this in particular concept is this vertical crossing route will get over the top of a 30 yard cloud so you see here if i just pass lead him straight up he gets over the top of that 30 yard cloud it's even better to the short side like if your trips was to the short side of the field it's even more uh, separation um, i'll show it one more time and and again how we can how we can beat 30 yard clouds and then i'm going to come back to kind of an important uh, an important alternate setup too that i think you're going to want to stick around for we're going to be able to bomb every coverage in the game um, or at least every adjustment that they're going to be able to make once we start to hit them with this so again if you watch this if you watch this crossing route you're going to see just straight up just pass lead them straight up and you see you can kind of funnel it right in that little window if i wait a little longer it'll be a little bit better um let me show it to you one more time and i'm just gonna just for sake of time i'm gonna go to kind of a standard uh you know a standard drop eight tampa two look um just to just to kind of illustrate this because again this route could, will get over the 30 yard cloud if you want to put this guy on an option route you can it will help a little bit but um another route that i really like is just a table route to bernard You'll, if you watch this play closely, you'll see he'll actually suck in that 30-yard cloud right there, and then you see that you can kind of throw it over the top. And again, if I'm if I'm to the left, it's even more exaggerated. Um, if I run curl flat, curl flat's basically the same concept. Now, the the point of that is where does this leave us? Well, it leaves us with this. It leaves them having to use her in that in that regard and having to put the deep half out there. So because they have to put the deep half out there, now all of a sudden our bomb concept is back in the picture. So you're gonna see here, I set this up, okay? Now you can do this, if you if you don't have a play that has a play, if you don't have like a outside apprentice, you could do it out of PA shot wheel. Uh, I'm gonna teach it today just, just as a simple, um, and you also could do it if you don't wanna run play action, you don't have, you, there's a lot of things you could do with this. But basically what I wanna get at here is a really fun um, kind of very variation of this is you can actually go ahead and put triangle on a slant route and make it look exactly the same you're gonna streak Godwin you're gonna post Mike Evans you're gonna block Gronkowski and you're gonna wheel your running back and what you should see here is that this post because this streak will clear out all every zone you're going to have this little window right in here that you can hit this post now again um if you wanted to make it even if you wanted to also you could also do it from the other player on the field so you know just hang on one second here let me set this up one more time you could also do this from pa uh from play action so if you wanted to do it from play action remember they're in a deep half right so one of my favorite ways to do it out of play action is to go to something like because they have to have a deep half or a deep third one of those two right so what we can do is we could go to something like this with uh from the same play verticals and we're just going to do it like this now so you see we're gonna have a slant coming underneath it and we have the corner route now again this isn't going to have great pass protection so that's why i would recommend doing it from like a pa slot corner or something but a lot or pa shot wheel even but what you'll see here is once he crosses the face of the safety you now have a beater over the top of the defense so that's one of the many reasons why i really really like this um you know kind of two by two version of running trips now another thing that you can do um if you're if you if you kind of get them accustomed to that motion right and they're kind of consistently you know adjusting their coverage as 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 i just said what you can do is you could go to the play pa slot corner and or pa shot wheel for that matter but now all you're going to do is you're going to post your tight end you're going to slant um or you're going to streak miller and then now you have this guy right here so what you can do with him is you can just simply block him so you're gonna motion him right here block the guy you'll see this post will still pull zones and now your deep half a lot of times we'll get we'll get um, that time we actually played it but you see the idea so 
you can kind of mess around with that. You could again use that corner route to the tight end out of PA slot corner. So you could just do something like this with a slant and then you just motion this guy over. And what's really good about this is again, if they're in a, if they're in a, a deep, you know, kind of an adjusted cover three, basically, you'll see here that this post will come open a little bit earlier and you see that you can fit this in between those two zones. So this is one of the main plays that I can use um, and they kind of come, they kind of complement one another in a lot of ways and they force the defense to really have to stay kind of more basic and more balanced. They, they, they get them out of the, the inside quarter thing. I didn't even cover that, I apologize. Um, with the inside quarter thing, once you motion into two by two, the inside quarter trick doesn't work. So it's really simple. Um, if you wanna beat this inside quarter situation, literally, um, if we go, if, if we run the same exact setup here, so again, we're gonna inside quarter, inside quarter, we're gonna blitz this guy. Um, and then what you'll see here is because of the way we have this set up, the blitz won't be able to come in. And you can even do this out of play action, but the blitz won't be able to come in. You have the dig and then you have this. So this is really good because the quarters are basically pointless at this point and you see how open that guy gets. They're obviously going to adjust. They'll probably, but because of time, right, they're going to go back to man to man or something like that. So anyways, that is kind of one of my main concepts for combating a lot of the meta and a lot of the way that people are starting to defend trips tied in a lot of, I, I personally believe that if you run it more, if you, you if you utilize trips tied in and then you have the ability to motion into these two by two formations, I personally think that's a lot more effective at the stage the game is in right now than what we were traditionally doing in the beginning of the year where we were just running our trips and flooding and flooding and flooding. Now what you want to do is you want to kind of be a little bit more strategic and I think the game is working more to, towards a two by two with a tight end and being able to run play action and really running this more as a spread set or as a traditional two by two offense I think is having um, I think it's having a lot of um, positive uh, positive uh, twist on the game. So this is something that we all need to learn as trips players. If you want to run trips, um, you need to also be able to run two by two because it does perfectly counter a lot of the ways that defenses, at least in Madden 22, are defending us. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about trips tied in and how I run it and just kind of my blueprint for success with this, I've studied the best trips tied in players um, for the last three years, and I feel like this is probably um i i just feel like this is the best offense i think it's going to be the best offense next year a um, bunch is really good but this offense right here it provides so many different concepts and uh, i think it's just got a lot of a lot of useful things so if you want to learn our full i've got a bunch in our patreon as well but if you want to learn the full trip side and stuff it's all linked it, it, everything is available via the patreon so for just ten dollars just by becoming a member you get access to every ebook all year all the updates to those guys and any new ebooks and all of our exclusive tips. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon to get all that stuff, head down to the description of this video and click the link that I put down below.